Today I'm going to be showing you how to load your favorite Fujifilm recipes into your Fuji camera using the Fujifilm X-RAW Studio. Now I'm specifically going to show you how to do it with my X100V, but this should be a similar process on most of the Fuji cameras. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and locate your camera's connection port. And it's going to be USB-C on this X100V. Just go ahead and connect it and turn your camera on. So you want to make sure that your Fujifilm X-RAW Studio is open, that your camera is turned on and is connected. The first thing that you'll want to do is go ahead and find your profile section, and mine is here in the top right. What we're going to do is go ahead and take one of these custom slots and we're going to fill it with the Fujifilm recipe that we want to do. And today, I'm going to choose this one. I've been looking at this Fujifilm recipe for a while and I wanted to add it in to try it out. This is Vibrant Arizona and this can be found on Fuji X Weekly either online or in the app. We're gonna come down here and focus on this film simulation right here. This is gonna be the settings that you need to put into the computer. You wanna go ahead and pick out your recipe. And as I said, I'm using the Vibrant Arizona and I'm gonna pick a custom slot. So I'm gonna go down to here to custom seven. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take these settings here and change them to the recipe that I found which is the Vibrant Arizona. You can choose whichever recipe that you want to do, but I'm going to use this one as the example. The image size, it says to do a 3x2 or 16x19. I'm going to keep it at 3x2. Image quality, fine. I'm not going to touch that. And I am going to go down here to film simulation. So this to use classic Chrome. So I'm going to load that in. The next thing is going to be the green effect. It says weak and the size is going to be small. Now, the chrome effect is going to be off and the chrome, color chrome FX is going to be weak. The white shift balance is going to be 4350. So let's go down there to, uh, where is it? 44, 4350. And the white balance shift is going to be plus six red and negative eight blue. So you can click that, it's going to bring up your little map. So you want to do plus six at negative eight, Let's see if that's it. One too far, plus six at negative eight, hit okay. Now it doesn't say anything about shadow or highlight tone, so I'm going to leave those alone. We're going to come down to color, it says to do plus four. Sharpness is going to be negative two, so we're going to keep that negative two. Noise reduction at negative four, and clarity at negative three. Now we're going to go ahead up here in the camera profile for custom and hit save. And we're going to save this in the seventh slot, which is where I want this one to go. I'm going to go ahead and hit save again, and we are going to call this Vibrant Arizona. Gonna hit OK. And this is gonna save it into your camera now. All right, so the copy is complete. Now you can do this for each one of your custom slots. You go in and click it and then change it and then go ahead and again, save this profile here. So you wanna save the camera profile custom. Make them save into your camera. Now, what I usually do is I'll go ahead and use this to start out with. And then once I'm out shooting, I'll go ahead and tweak the settings to get it exactly where I want. Let's go over to the camera to make sure that downloaded correctly. So you're gonna turn your camera on. For me, my Q buttons are in here. I'm gonna go right there. And you wanna make sure that your custom setting where you went to, so I went to C7. I just wanna change this and go back. It is coming up as Vibrant Arizona instead of the HP5. I'm gonna hit select OK. Now I'm gonna go into the menu and just go down the list. So classic Chrome, weak, small, and this will show you all of those settings that you just saved on the computer are already in here and ready to go. That is how you download the Fujifilm recipes using the Fujifilm X-RAW Studio. I find this process a lot quicker than going through the menu and trying to do it there. 
and you can do a few profiles at the same time. If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.